Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Learn with W3 Schools. Uh, today, we're going to talk more about XML, XLink, and XPointer. Now, if you have been following me, you know that we have been talking about XML for extensively for last month. We have been talking about jQuery, XLT, XPath, Parser, and all of these major concepts in one video. Then I've made all separate videos as well. And we're going to further talk more about all these concepts in detail, especially in my membership page. So don't forget to check out the membership page. So let's today, we're basically going to begin with this XLink and XPointer. My name is Dr. Shan. Again, here for the first time, haven't subscribed yet, take that bell icon and click the like button so that you can follow along and learn about all these wonderful tutorials that are about to come. Again, a quick disclaimer, I'm not being sponsored by W3 Schools and this is not an official W3 Schools website, no, I don't, nor do I mean to do any copyright issues, but this is, I just love to use this website, it's such a wonderful website and since I, it's a publicly available, you can easily refer to the notes as well what I am trying to teach and what I'm trying to explain. Okay, so that's the whole intention. So let's begin now. XML, uh, uh, within XML, we have something called Xlink. Xlink is used to create hyperlinks in HTML, uh, in XML document. So just like in HTML, we have what we call an anchor tag. This allows us to create links inside the HTML. Similarly, in XML, we use something called Xlinks to create hyperlinks. Make sense? Okay, so if you want to learn more about HTML, again, my detailed tutorial is in the description. You can check it out. I have made a complete four hours videos on how to use HTML. But HTML uses this anchor tag to link between page one and page two. So we use this link tag to do that. Similarly, we use Xlink to link between tags. Okay, so this tag can be linked to another tag. Okay, to do that, we use something called Xlink. Now, this Xlink can be linking page on one file and this can be a completely different XML file. So this is a different XML file. This can be a completely different XML file. Both can work. Means that you refer to tags or you can link tags within the same page or within two different XML files. Similar to anchor tag. So anchor tag also can do the linking between the pages and or, or between multiple uh, websites, between multiple pages and within the same page as well. Same goes with the Xlink as well. Again, the differences we use with a tag with HTML, with XML to create these hyperlinks, we use something called Xlink. Make sense? Okay, okay. So now within this XML, we have already discussed what we call XQuery. We have talked about XSLT briefly. We have talked about XPath as well. So today, basically, these two things will be discussed. So this will complete the entire circle of our XML concepts. So Xlink is used to create hyperlinks within XML. Any element in an XML document can behave as a link. So that's the key thing here. You can convert any element that you write inside your XML and convert it into what we call a hyperlink. So with XML link, the links can be defined outside the linked files as well. So again, saying the same thing. So this can be a link, okay? And then there can be another link as well. But this can be a completely separate file dot XML. And this can be a completely separate file. So you can link XML tags between two different files as well, as well as within the same file. So this is what it's trying to say. So you can have this thing here and you can link, click on one tag and it will point to another tag or another element in an another file. XM, Xlink is a W3 consortium recommended as well, just like all of these things as well. So it is part of W3 consortiums. Do keep in mind that Xlink browser support is critical. There is no browser support for Xlink in XML documents. That's a big bummer that we need to face, but we have to be careful with it. However, our major browsers do support what we call Xlink and SVG. So we have to be careful where you want to use it. Okay. So moving on further, now let's just talk more about Xlink syntax itself. So in HTML, the A tag is used, the A tag is used to define hyperlink. However, this is not, this does not work in XML because obviously XML is completely different. So in XML document, you can use whatever element name you want. Therefore, it is impossible to browse, in, this is impossible for browsers to predict that what link elements will be called XML documents. So that's why it's the support is quite low within the browser. So the browsers, it's very difficult for them to exactly know what's happening. But within the XML, you can convert the links. So, uh, to do that, below is an example of how we use Xlink to create our documents. So, for example, we create an XML document with the standard root metadata. Then we create a home page. Okay, so this becomes a home pages. Here we define XMLNS colon Xlink. So now this is again XML namespacing colon Xlink. So we use Xlink and is equals to we provide the link here. 
okay so we need to define the namespace first now namespace means to avoid the naming conflicts we have talked about namespace already here in the previous videos in a complete one and a half hour tutorial where i talked about all these concepts in one video so don't forget to check that out so you can understand what exactly we mean by namespaces so this is a simple namespace x link path here then within the each element we use x link type simple x link h reference and we provide the reference link just like we do in h reference with the anchor tag and then we provide the text here so the idea is that when i click on this text it will take me to this link here make sense similarly we can say home page x link type simple is just going to be simple link x link h reference so this is the hyper reference that we are creating here in anchor tag if i'm doing html we use h reference in a simple sense so we use just like this okay and then we close the tag and then we can say click here and this becomes here. So when I click on this text, it takes me to this using the A tag in HTML. However, in XML, we use something called X link colon H reference. And we provide the link. And then again, same, we provide the text here. So when I click on this text, it is going to jump to this one. So this is how we create a very simple our XML links. To get access to an X link feature, we must declare an X link namespace. So this is the namespace that we use here. Again, namespace to avoid conflicts and issues. So the X-Link namespace is, in this case, this one here. So this is the namespace that we are praying, going to use. So the X-Link type and the X-Link reference are attributes that in a home page element comes with an X-Link namespace. So the X-Link type simple creates a simple HTML-like link, means click here to go there, right? So this becomes a simple HTML type. There's no fancy thing here. So it defines it, hey, I'm just creating a simple link. So the H-Link H reference attribute specifies the URL. So in this case, this is what basically the breakdown is, okay? Now, let's link the example. So let's use one more example of it, how it works. So the following XML document contains X-Link features. How it's working? Well, the link is quite simple. So what we're doing now is, again, we create an XML document. We define the root element book space. We define the XML, XL and links namespace. So this is a namespace that we need to provide, which is referring to this X-Link namespace website. So it's taking the namespace from this URL. Okay, then we have a book tag and then we have a book tag. Now, both these book tags have something called a title Harry Potter. This is a title X Curie Kickstart. Then we use something called descriptions. Now, this is where we can provide the link here. Okay, so in this description, we use X link type simple H reference to the website. So when I click on the content, it goes here. Show new will basically take me to the new page, um, new tab, in other words. And we have a content here. So this means that we have a description that is of X link having type h reference and show this will create the link for us okay so this is actually the link tag in a very simple manner same you provide x link type simple x link type h reference now see this this is a different url difference a different url everything else same so it's quite easy to understand quite simple as long as you define the namespace then you can define the links individually within each tag okay so if you explain this code or if you need more explanation here it what says it says that the x link namespace is declared at the top of the document so we need to declare the namespace first this becomes the first requirement then we use type simple that will allow us to create the simple html tag then we say x link h reference this becomes the third point we provide the hyperlink and then we use the show link that specifies the link should be open in a new window simple so you use these four attributes to create links so wherever you need to create a link where the content needs to point to some other resource, whether it's an, a GIF image, whether it's an HTML file, whether it's a URL, or whether it's an another XML file. This is how it basically works. Going further, in the example above, we have demonstrated simple links. Our X link is getting more interesting when accessing remote locations as a resources instead of just a standalone pages. So if we start the value of the X link show attribute to embed, the link resources should be processed in line within the page. So when you consider this could be a f another XML document, you could, for example, build a hierarchy of XML documents. So you can specify when the resources should appear with an X-Link acute attribute. How this attribute works, let me just, just say. So for example, here we have used certain other attributes as well. So we, you can use X-Link acute as well. On the queue, you can say value can be on load, on request, other or none. So this defines when the link resources is read and shown. So on load, the resources should be loaded when the shown and the uh, document loads. On the request, the resources is not read or shown before the link is clicked. 
Similarly, in the, instead of acute, you can also use H reference like show attribute, like type attribute. We already talked about that. H reference needs to have a URL. Show will usually we have used the new means we want to use a new a window, or you can just embed it within the same window. Okay, you can replace the current entire content or other or none. We can go for it. Type basically we use a simple which basically specifies the type of link we are creating. We can use extend locator arc resources title none. Usually just simple would work fine for us. Okay, so this is what it actually means using the acute uh, You can sp uh, Specify when the resources should appear. So this will allow us to control when the resources should appear This show will mean that it will show the resources in a new window H reference link is there So you can exactly control ex this with acute as well now the point is that this will point to new files or new resources or new locations but what if i want to refer to the same tag within the same document to do that we use something called x pointers okay x pointers again are part of xml and they are very specific to x link and x uh, query x point allows us allows the links to point to a specific part of an xml document X pointer uses X path expression. So that's why we say it uses the X path expression to navigate in the XML document. So we have already talked about X path in this previous video. Again, the links in the description, you can talk, listen to more about it. So X pointer browser support. So there is again, no support for X pointer as well, just like other things. So we have to be careful where we use it and what exactly we're expecting. So X pointer example. Now let's see the explore the example uh, X pointer. The idea is that we provide a one tag here and then in the, within the same document, we have another tag here. So when I click on this tag, it points to this tag here. This is what X pointer allows us to do. So within the same XML document, we use tags to navigate between and within the documents. Okay. Between the elements within each document. That's, that's the X pointers whole purpose is. To do that, we use something called pointer, which basically points to this location here. Okay, so we need that pointer thing. So that pointer thing is actually this ID attribute here. So in this example, we will use X pointer in conjunction with X link to specify a part of another document. We will start by looking at the target XML document as well. Note that this can also point to the same document as well as another document as well. So it's not necessary that the X pointer only works within the same document. Okay. Uh, you can use this to point to another XML file as well on a specific tag. So to do that, we use a key thing called ID. Okay. So this ID is actually the main thing that we use. How we use it. So for example, we have XML document, we create the root element. So this becomes our root tag. Then we define the element tags, dog, 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 dog. This time, what we have done is we have defined dog, given an attribute called breed, but this attribute is the key thing, ID. Same goes for the next ID. Notice that everything can be different because every tag has its own elements. However, the ID again has to be also different. ID basically meaning that now we are giving an ID to this tag. We are giving specific ID to this tag. Using this ID tag, we will pinpoint to this location or this specific tag. Okay, so in, our, in, in note that XML document above uses ID attributes. Yes, we said that. So instead of linking the entire document with as with X link, pointer allows you to specify parts of the document. So instead of linking the entire document, just like we did here, where we link to the entire website, web pages, or entire web uh, XML files or GIF files. This will actually link to the next entire files. It will open the entire file. But this X pointer allows us to point to a specific location, specific tag within the same document or within the uh, two external documents. How do we do that? Again, so once you specify the ID attribute, okay, once the ID attribute is specified, this ID attribute now can be used to refer to that particular location. So following that, we create another XML file, define the XML, we define our uh, standard root tag, my dogs. Again, note that uses the no namespacing X link. So it uses the X link. My dog description, again, the tag element is here. This time, wherever we want to create the link, we use, for example, a fact tag, X link type simple. Same thing with that we just discussed with the X link, X link H reference. 
However, note the reference this time. The reference uses the file name hashtag dogweiler, rottweiler. This rottweiler is used with the hashtag. Now, this is key thing. So, we use a standard URL dot XML file hash rottweiler. So, now this means that I'm specifically pointing to the rottweiler tag in my content here. So, this will come here and point exactly to this point here. Okay, because we are giving the, or we are using the same ID here. We are using the same ID. So when you do that, it's going to come here and point that. Same case here as well. So if you note, we have something called, voila, this thing, hashtag. So this hashtag allows us to identify where we want to point in a particular place in the document. This hashtag is known as pointer. Okay, in general HTML, we simply call it ID. Okay, but ID is used with ID attribute. So we use ID is equals to inverted quotations. Hash is specifically not used with the ID name. In XML, I hash is used here. But we can use uh, hash in HTML, but it just means they're referring to the same page. Here, we are referring to hash, indicating that, hey, I want to point to this particular location. That's it. That's all you need to do. You need to come here and understand that, yeah, if I need to point to a particular tag, I need to provide an ID without the hash in this case okay so we provide an id without the hash case now i want to point to this location i come back here i use the url now this can be my same url if i'm using within the same document i don't need to use this whole url i can just write hash rottweiler this would mean i'm pointing to the same document as simple as that if this is supposed to be another document so when i click on this link it's going to exactly jump and show me this particular tag here so when i click on it this tag is going to be displayed Okay, so if I come back here and if I click on the Rottweiler concept, if I click on here, because it's referring to this URL with a hash, it's going to jump to me and show me this content here. Sure, makes sense. Okay, so Xlink is actually creating links within our HTML document. Within the same document, you want to display the whole page. You want to point to a specific pointer location. You basically can do that using X, uh, Xlink things. Want to learn more about this? Uh, do follow along as I said I will be posting a complete detailed tutorial about XML XML XSD schemas DTD X queries and all these things so hopefully uh, these things will be available on my members page soon and most of them already there and some will be available as we go along so don't forget to follow along and watch the full tutorials on my members page thank you for watching this is Dr. Shyam signing off